Gardner von Kinkenbrossen is in here. You have five minutes. Ten. <laughs> that is the limit. Herr Flick, oh, it is terrible to find you in such an unusual position. <laughs> it is very painful. I am taking notes. Is there anything I can do to relieve your situation? I cannot endure the pain in my legs. Do you have any scissors? Yes, but they will not cut chains. They will cut my tight knicker elastic. <laughs> These finger trappers are killing me. <laughs> Could General von Klinkerhofen do this to an officer of the Gestapo? Since I am in disguise as a woman of the opposite sex and have no papers, he is pretending he does not recognize me. Be of good cheer, Herr Blick. Your assistant von Smallhausen has a plan. This does not make me of good cheer. He is a barbarian twit. <laughs> he is our only hope. Herr Flick, may I kiss you? What? Kiss me? Chained to the wall and dressed in the underwear of a woman? Of course. <laughs> Von Smallhausen, what are you doing here? I have a plan for your rescue here, Fleek. What kept you? <laughs> and why is that French cafe owner dressed in that manner? He is impersonating Himmler. He looks nothing like him. <laughs> what did I say? Quick, we must be leaving. Von Smallhausen, give me your gun. Yes, Herr Fleek. Take off your clothes. <laughs> your pardon? Take off your clothes. But I usually find that when he is in this mood, it is best to strip off and ask him questions. <laughs> This would appear to be a modification of my plan. When the guard looks through the people, he will still see Frau Kinkenrotten chained to the wall. Helga, avert your eyes. <laughs> and that goes for you, too. You sent for me, Herr Flick? Yes, Helga. You showed great devotion by assisting with my escape. Here. What is this, Herr Flick? It is the Gestapo's certificate of special merit. See, your name is at the top, and my signature is at the bottom. The waxed seal is still hot. <laughs> it is not only a great honor, but with it, you can get into the cinema free before five o'clock. <laughs> what can I say? You can show your appreciation and gratitude by first releasing your hair. You may put your arms around me and kiss me until you are giddy with ecstasy. <laughs> Thank you, Herr Flick. You are reaching the ecstasy point very quickly these days. It comes with practice. Now pay attention. Before I was imprisoned, I overheard the Colonel and General von Klinkerhofen plotting to blow up the Führer when he visits the chateau to celebrate his birthday. I find this impossible to believe, Herr Flick. Von Smallhausen heard it with his very own ears and relayed it to me. Lieutenant Gruber is to do the blowing up. We must be on the alert. You will report to me all conversations between these guilty parties. As soon as I have enough evidence, I will arrest them. It is frightening to have so much power. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> now, it is my turn to go giddy. <laughs> oh, my God. There is no reason to cease your jollification just because a senior Gestapo officer in a particularly foul mood is entering your premises. <laughs> Play on. So, there you are. What kind of a funny old game is this? I have two tickets for a film featuring Herr Stanley Lowell and Herr Oliver Hardy. <laughs> and I am left waiting in the foyer holding a bag of chocolate fudge. <laughs> Sorry, Herr Flick. I have been ordered by General von Klinkerhofen to be his companion for the evening. You will learn, Helga, that nobody stands up the Gestapo. Okay, Herr Flick. I shall not go away. I suspect that the General is involved in a plot to assassinate the Führer, as this is a very common fault with our generals. <laughs> I am arresting you. You will come away with me for interrogation. Oh, Herr Flick. 
You see this bulge under my coat? And do, you know... <laughs> do you know what it is? A gun? Correct. Stand up. Quick. March. Hilka, where are you going? Uh, she is coming back to my place to be interrogated at length. <laughs> You have been here 24 hours and have replied to none of my questions. This is because I do not know the answers, Hefflik. They all say that. <laughs> I will try more extreme methods. Von Smallhausen, connect the electricity. Yes, Hefflik. <laughs> this fan revolves at exactly the speed of the alpha rhythms of the brain, causing a hypnotic effect. You will not be able to resist answering truthfully all my questions. <laughs> now, what is your real name? Bobby Cedric von Smith. has no effect on me, whatever. Japanese rubbish. <laughs> I must warn you, Helga, things will go badly for you if you do not assist me by finding out every detail of the plot blow up Hitler. Just tell me what to do, Heflick. You know I can't resist you when you fix me with your penetrating gaze from your pale blue eyes magnified to the size of poached eggs behind your father's <laughs> You must get close to the general. This I was about to do before you dragged me away. I was temporarily consumed with jealousy, uh, but I have now controlled it, except for a regular twitching in my left buttock. <laughs> you may kiss me. Thank you. It was a most exciting 24 hours. <laughs> I have to report that I am to take dinner with General von Klinkerhofen tonight. At the cafe? in his private quarters at the chateau. He has ordered the colonel to find peasants to provide the romantic music. I suspect he intends hanky-panky. <laughs> Which I will, of course, resist. As long as I am able. <laughs> you will take every opportunity to find evidence of the bomb plot, if necessary, by ferreting in the general's private drawers when his back is turned. <laughs> Sounds a daunting prospect, Heflick. Well, I shall find a way of keeping you under observation. Yes, Heflick. And do not wear the perfume I gave you. No, Heflick. Just a little dab of disinfectant behind the ears. <laughs> what a romantic sound. I will lure the lights and open the good champagne. Any requests? You have gone too far. I do not know it, but hum it and we will follow. <laughs> There's the fire. Extinguish it. In your efforts to prevent the general from making amorous advances, you have gone too far. I am not responsible for that. <laughs> do you think I would start a fire and ruin my own music? Definitely the work of the resistance. Mm. Anyone looking suspicious will be shot. Especially gypsies. You're right. We will scarper. <laughs> Create a diversion. Lock the door. <laughs> there is no key. Someone is coming. Shall we hide under the bed? No, that is the first place they will look. Hide in the wardrobe. We must get out of these gypsy clothes as quickly as possible. They are out of their clothes. <laughs> Not that way. Follow me. There is a ladder. Oh, there is at the foot of this ladder a fire engine. We will commandeer it. 
<laughs> you are one minute late, Helga. What kept you? There was a queue at the chemist. We had to kick several French peasants quite severely so that they would let a lady go first. <laughs> Here are your aspirins. How is your head? It is very painful. It was struck a glancing blow by a coat hanger. Fortunately, von Smallhausen took the full blast of the explosion. Oh. <laughs> I have spent several hours with my Gestapo tweezers pulling small particles of wardrobe from his anatomy. <laughs> the sitting part. May I make you a cup of tea? And the kettle is already singing. Use the small pot with a swastika on the lid. <laughs> While you are performing this simple task, listen to what I say. Yes, Evelyn. I have analyzed the situation. Question, uh, what was the explosive doing in the wardrobe? Answer, it was hidden there in readiness for the blowing up of the Führer. Question, who hid it? Answer, I have not the faintest idea. <laughs> but the finger of suspicion points at Gruber. Conclusion, you, Helga, must get close to Gruber and worm your way into his confidence by becoming his closest companion. But he is not very keen on women of the opposite sex. <laughs> you are talking to a man who has just been blown out of Gruber's closet. <laughs> it is up to you to play your part. As you wish, Hevlik. Indian or China? I would prefer Lapsan Souchon. <laughs> How dare you try to bluff a senior Gestapo officer with a pair of tens? I have one. Am I allowed to see your hand, Herr Flick? No, you have lost. <laughs> I get your Gestapo pen and pencil set. <laughs> Helga. I am here to report in accordance with your orders, Herr Flick. First, you may kiss me. <laughs> Von Smallhausen, pull down your bandages. <laughs> Satisfactory, Heflick? No. You smell of diesel. <laughs> Lieutenant Gruber gave me a ride in his little tank. Sit. Did you gain any information about the plot to blow up Hitler? No, but I am making progress. He allowed me to manipulate his gears from third to top. <laughs> this I am informed by Lieutenant Gruber is a rare privilege. This is good. What else? He also demonstrated to me his gun. But whilst showing me how to put one up the spout, he caught his fingers in the breech block. It is a dangerous mechanism and results in many painful accidents. <laughs> now, uh, do you have time for our usual game of poker? Of course. Shall I deal? Why bother? <laughs> <laughs> It is a very serious situation, Helga. What is worse? Today I received a very heavy letter from my uncle Heinrich. Heinrich Himmler? The head of the Gestapo. Dear Otto, I am most displeased with your lack of progress. Hitler still does not have the painting of the fallen Madonna with the big boobies which he promised to Eva for her birthday. And you have provided no evidence of the plot to blow up the Führer. What is more, you have so far cost us two staff cars, one blown up and one flattened by a steamroller. <laughs> what sort of a Gestapo are you running up there? Get your act together, or you could find yourself limping around the Russian front. <laughs> your affectionate Uncle Heine. Sounds very cross. I have information that there is to be some resistance activity at the Church of St. Paul in the Rudy Valley next Saturday. You wish me to be present, Herr we will both be present. We will observe, and if necessary, we will act. Very well, Heflick. Now, would you like me to kiss you? No. <laughs> Do you know the birds, Heflick? Most certainly not. But in order not to arouse suspicion, we will open and shut our mouths like goldfish. Drag him in. Ah, oh, René. <laughs> Sit down. Your 
honeymoon has aged, do you consider them? Oh, Air Flick, this is a disguise. <laughs> and a very uncomfortable one. Air Flick, my life is in danger from the communist resistance. Could you please lock me up in one of your dungeons for a few days until the heat is off? I am sure I could make it worth your while. Certainly not. We pick the people we lock up. <laughs> we cannot have people walking in off the street asking to be locked up just to be protected from other people. Our dungeons would be so full we would have peasants coming out of our ears. <laughs> get him out of here. Herr Flick says you are to get out. I am sorry to have troubled you, Herr Flick. Oh, uh, could I have my beard back, please? <laughs> Von Smallhausen. This man could lead us to the communist resistance. Follow him. Take photographs of anybody he meets, especially if they are assassinating him. <laughs> very good, Herr Flick. Of course it's very good. I thought of it. <laughs>